morning for us, Thursday, July 25th. And what you're looking at right here is the E-mini S&P 500 chart. If you recall the trade that I showed you yesterday, right? Remember this right here? This was the opening bar. The opening bar tested the prior day's high right there, right? As soon as it took out the low of that bar, the market came down, right? Took a little profits in here, right? It took uh, and trailed up, uh, you know, some of the other position uh, as it was continued to drop down. But what I wanted to show you was today the same trade occurred again. First thing this morning. Now look at yesterday's low. Yesterday's low was 1677 and a quarter, right? 1677 and a quarter. The market gapped down, right? It closed at 1683 and three quarters and opened up today at 1677 and three quarters. Well, it opened up where the low was, 77 and a quarter, this low bar here. So what we were looking to do this morning was buy the market through the high of the bar that actually tested the low. Of Right, so I put a white horizontal line which represents yesterday's low because the market sold off pretty nice yesterday. Put in the low of 1677 and a quarter. Opened up. Look at the opening bar right here, the opening three minute bar. So once once the market crossed back up through that high, you had a relatively low risk trade. So the high of that bar was 1677 and three quarters. Had a buy stop at 1678. 1678 and a quarter because I never want to buy or sell on rounds or halves in the E mini S and P 500. So the buy was at 1678 and a quarter. This particular trade, you need to stop below the low of the day at 1675 and a quarter to 1674 and three quarters. All right. So again, the buy was right in here as it took out the high of the bar that tested yesterday's low. Right. The market happened to go down a little further. Right to this low. So our initial stop loss on this trade, let's write it out. So we went long, bought the market at 16, 16.78 and a quarter, right? Above, above the high of the three minute bar that actually tested the low, which was the gap open bar right there. The initial stop loss on this had to be placed, had to be placed below the low of the day right in here. So that was your risk right in here. Again, that was it 16.74 and three quarters so our right risk was three dollars and fifty cents so on this particular trade I was looking to make a minimum of three dollars and fifty cents three and a half bucks so if you add three and a half right three and a half up to 16.78 and a quarter that puts your, put, put your first profit objective at 16.81 and three quarters start off the day so it was right came up right there right between the 50 exponential the hot pink line and the 200 exponential moving average okay so there you have it another good trade two, two, two days in a row right yesterday was a beautiful day right bar that tested the high of the prior day it, it happened within the first half hour took out the low of that bar market was down uh, yesterday, actually, market had some beautiful trades to the downside. That was a beautiful sell in there. Uh, another sell right up in here. Um, but again, this morning, first thing, right out of the gate, right out of the gate, um, set the trade up rather. But the trigger did not happen, right, until 9:48 Eastern. So 18 minutes into the open, the trade actually shot off three and a half points within. By 10.03, 10.04, 10.03, 10.04. So far, the market's up to 16.82 and a quarter. So that was a good trade. So I hope you're learning from that trade that I'm uh, I've been going over here. Let's go through just real quick um, the eBay trade. eBay trade's not looking good at all. Market's low today is 51.45. If you recall, our initial hard stop, our hard stop on this is 55.39. So it's missed us by about six cents this morning. Trade's not over yet. Uh, it's getting close, but it's not there yet. We haven't taken that two-point loss just yet. Okay, the TBT trade, of course. Well, that's a great trade, right? We went long here at seventy-four dollars even. Again, we were looking at seventy-two and a half. Missed that by, I don't know, what did we miss it by? We missed it by thirteen cents, but we did get long at seventy-four. 
We're up about $2.02 on that trade, so that's not a bad trade. Uh, and then if you look at the E-mini S&Ps on the daily chart, I mean, look at what we've got here, folks. Um, the market has taken out the yearly highs, right? We've had, what, a few closes above it. Yesterday, though, yesterday was a key day. Yesterday matched the prior day. Look at 1694 and a half. 1694 was the prior day on Tuesday. So yesterday we actually took out the high, right, of the prior day, right? We took out the high of the 23rd, right? Tuesday's high we took out, and then yesterday we took out the low. But not only did we take out that low, we closed in the bottom third, and we actually took out the prior three days lows. So it closed lower. So it'll be interesting to see what happens today. Um, you know, again, the overall trend is up big time. We have taken out these highs. We probably, we definitely want to be buying on a pullback, but down in here where I'm moving my cursor, here, let me put on a red. Right down in here, we'd be looking to, to buy. But until then, possibly put on counter trend trade, which is against the trend. And technically, since yesterday took out Tuesday's high and we closed down in here, you could be a seller in here looking for the market to drop a little bit here. So that's what I'm looking to do. Have a profitable day and hope today's video helps. Bye for now.